any free market where choice governs market trends, one side can't be dissatisfied indefinitely, and at some point, corrective forces come into play to ensure that the market moves back towards equilibrium. But what are these mysterious forces that keep the market in check? Buyers now compete with one another, and this forces the price to rise. And as the price starts to rise, the quantity demanded by buyers decreases, while the quantity supplied starts to increase, reducing the excess demand. If the price rises from four to four and fifty, quantity demanded drops from four thousand two hundred to four thousand pieces, while quantity supplied increases from three thousand to three thousand two hundred pieces. The excess demand is now smaller. This rise in the price of fried chicken will continue until there's no excess demand. This new equilibrium position takes place at the price of five rand, and an equilibrium quantity of three thousand six hundred pieces. The increase in income has forced the market to a higher equilibrium price and quantity. Note that it was only the demand curve that shifted; the supply curve didn't shift. There was only an upward movement along the supply curve, as happens when there's an increase in price. Given this information, who is responsible for the increase in price? Well, in this case, the price went up because demand rose, and this happened because consumers had more income. So really, it's the buyers who are responsible for the increase in price. If they hadn't demanded more, the price wouldn't have gone up. So you see. Suppliers are not always the ones to blame for an increase in price. To summarise, then, any factor other than the price which increases the demand for a good or service will force the equilibrium price and quantity to rise.